Web scraping projects can get quite complex. For example, you might be trying to extract data from multiple different URLs from the same website. We are Parsub, and today we will go over how to set up a web scraper to extract data from multiple different URLs. First up, you will need the right web scraper to tackle this task. We recommend Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper that can extract data from any website. You can download it for free through the link in the description or at parsub.com. Now it's time to get scraping. For this example, we will extract data from four random Amazon product listings. We will set up our scraper to open the URLs for each product page and extract some data we have selected. Start by opening Parsub, click on new project and enter a basic URL. We will start with the Amazon.ca homepage. Parsub will now render the web page inside the app. Now let's give Parsub the list of URLs we will be scraping data from. To do this, start by clicking on the settings icon at the top of the screen. Here in the settings menu, we can submit our list of URLs under the starting value section. We can do that either by clicking on the green import CSV JSON button or by copy pasting our list of URLs URLs in JSON format right into the text box. If you're submitting a CSV file with URLs, make sure the heading reads URLs and that the URLs are copy pasted below it, just like in the image on screen. In this case, we will just copy paste our list of URLs in a JSON format in the text box. Now close the settings panel by clicking on back to commands at the top. Now that we have submitted our list of URLs, it is time to start setting up Parsub to navigate through all the URLs and extract data. Back on the commands screen, click on the plus sign next to your select page command, click on advanced and select the loop command. By default, the loop command should be looping through every item in URLs. If it isn't, use the dropdown to select URLs. Click on the plus sign next to your new loop command and choose the begin new entry command under advanced. Make sure that this command has a different name than URLs. We will rename it to Amazon URLs. This step is optional, but we want our final scrape to keep the URL for each product we are scraping data from. To do this, click on the plus sign next to your begin new entry command and choose the extract command under advanced. Rename this command to link and replace the location href with item in the text box below. Now we will tell Parsop to start loading the URLs we've selected. Start by clicking on the plus sign next to your begin new entry command and choose the go to template command under advanced. A pop-up will appear with a few available selections. In the go to URL field, we will write link. On the create new template field, we will name our new template product page. Once done, click on the green create new template button. The page for the first URL on the list will now render inside the app. Make sure to select the new product page template tab on the left sidebar. A select command will be created by default. We will use this command to extract data from this page. Start by clicking on the product name on the page to extract it. The product name on the page will be highlighted in green to indicate that it's been selected. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to product name. Now click on the plus sign next to your select page command to add a new select command and extract more data as we did on the previous steps. This time, we will click on the product price to extract it. Rename this new command accordingly. Repeat these steps if you want to add more select commands and extract more data. Our template ended up looking like this. Feel free to pause the video to have a closer look. If you want to learn how to extract more data from Amazon, check out our in-depth guide on how to scrape product data from Amazon. Just click on the card that's on screen right now. It's now time to run our scrape job and extract all the data we have selected. Start by clicking on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you will be able to test, run or schedule your project. In this case, we will run it right away. Parsub will now go and scrape the data you've selected. You will be notified when it's done. Once your scrape is completed, you will be able to download your data as a CSV or JSON file. You now know how to scrape data from multiple URLs from a list. Looking to scrape data from multiple pages via navigation? Check out our guide on how to scrape data from multiple pages via navigation. You can also read our guide on how to scrape data behind a login screen. Just click on any of the two cards on screen right now. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsup.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.